Hello, everybody. Welcome to the daily political tarot readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, I am here 365 days of the year to take your uh, uh, 12 political t uh, questions out of the chat. I put list them down in the description. So if you're watching this on replay, you can just go straight down and just pick and choose from whatever you're interested in. Get in, get out. And you have to this me jibber jab but you might want to stick around for the beginning because sarah and i are going to jibber jab just a little bit because oh my gosh there are two topics we should discuss um 10 percent of my uh, income from everything black and orange goes to feedingamerica.org which supplies food to food banks across the country that's an ongoing thing and we have epic troll slayers who keep us safe so thank you and trolls beware, beware, be gone. <laughs> okay, so, uh, do, 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 do. So right at the top, mm -hmm. I wanted to share mm -hmm. an article from Vice. Yes. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Hello, Kay. From Vice, mm -hmm. breaking news, Prison sucks. <laughs> on Sunday, when I'm going to read you part of this article because on Sunday, dressed in spandex leggings and a workout top while she filmed herself in a mirror, mm -hmm. Jenna Ryan patted her exposed stomach and even weighed herself on camera while asking TikTok viewers to avert their eyes from her feet because she had been too freaked out to have a pedicure lately. Okay, so here's the deal, she said. The first week in January, I have to report to prison. Aww. And the only thing that I can see that's good about having to go to prison is that I'm going to be able to work out a lot and do a lot of yoga and detox. This is for her role in storming the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2020. She was sentenced to 60 days in jail. Bless her. She continued. Mm -hmm. Everyone's telling me that I'll lose weight, she said. So hopefully I'll finally get down to my ideal weight because I won't be able to drink and I won't be able to eat stupid stuff like chips. You have to Darn. look at the you have to look at the bright side of everything you do. And that's what I'm trying to do. So wish me luck. Um, she, she's 50 years old, so she's my age, documented her private jet flight to the Stop the Steel rally, posted incessantly from the riot itself, and then months later tweeted publicly that she would not be going to jail because she's a white woman with blonde hair. Yeah, I remember this one. Mm -hmm. And, um, there's a link that mm -hmm. I put in that says, yes, really. Yeah, yeah, I remember her. <laughs> She's from, she's a Dallas realtor, if I remember correctly. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Ryan's initial TikTok is jarring because it's a particularly heady cocktail of delusion and ignorance. <laughs> yes. Like when she says she hopes she'll have access to protein bars and plans to lose 30 pounds, an average of a, half a pound a day. Mm hmm. Uh, but in the, the article goes on to talk about how it's it's a delusion that's it's ongoing. It's this, you know, there are jail themed gyms now as like a fitness program. It's it's this this garbage. Um, but here we go. Some of Ryan's January 6th compatriots made headlines in October decrying the unimaginable, unsustainable horror of Washington, D.C. jail conditions, quote, for the first 120 days in D.C.'s Gitmo. January Sixers experienced daily lockdowns. Okay, daily lockdowns Aww. for 23 to 24 hours before being allowed to leave our small 100 square foot cell. The phys physical and mental anguish that results from this kind of severe isolation has caused many people to go on a rapid mental decline 
as a result, a large percentage of us are heavily medicated with anti-anxiety and antidepressant drugs, which helps us cope with the psychological and mental abuse mm. with door. Mm. Vice responded and begin the, uh, the, the person who wrote it responded mm -hmm. beginning the next paragraph. Yeah, man, no blank. <laughs> That's what happens <laughs> when you're in jail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So protein bars. Mm -hmm. Um, I have, I have, I have opinions. Uh, please share. Please okay. share. Um, first off, before I go any further, um, Doxy Mom, I saw your comments in the chat. Um, prayers are with you for the people that you know that, that have been caught up in, in all of this and the storms and whatnot. Um, definitely keeping you and yours on my prayer list tonight, sweetheart. Um, but I didn't want you to think that nobody saw, so I got you, boo. Okay. Um, jail. So, real talk. Um... I have a younger family member that is currently uh, serving jail for stupidity. Um, she was laugh, young, got this caught way. up. Huh? I shouldn't laugh, but the way you put that was. Yeah. Well, cute. she was young and she got caught up in a dude who was no good. And, the, you know, the classic story. And, you know, she she fell on the sword for him, which was just ridiculous. So, um, but she'll, she'll learn. And uh, anyway. Mm -hmm. I have learned through her situation that uh, some of the situation, you know, some of some of the what it, what it's kind of like, as much as one can learn, you right. know, not doing it themselves. Now, I can only speak for Louisiana, okay. but um, she is at a medium security facility. So even a medium security, unless you have a job in the jail. You are in your cell for Monday through Friday, 23 hours a day, and on weekends, 22 hours a day. That's just how it is. Play st stupid games, win stupid prizes. Um, breakfast is served promptly at 4 a.m. You get up and you have an egg and a piece of toast, sometimes two pieces of toast if they're feeling nice that day. And half a cup to a cup of oatmeal grits, some kind of something, or one of those individual things of generic cereal with some milk. Um, so that's your breakfast. At 11 a.m., you get a sandwich and a piece of fruit for lunch. And at 4 p.m., you get dinner, which because that way that they're you're not in, they're not being interrupted for people who come in after work for visitation. So at 4 p.m. you get dinner, which is, you know, what they recommend you eat meat-wise, like the, the card size, the, the plain card size piece of meat, and a, a half a cup of, of a starch and a, a piece of bread or a roll or something and, and a vegetable. And that's it. So if you don't, um, if you don't have money on the commissary or you're not working for the commissary, they're working in the jail to earn money for the commissary, then you, that's what you get. So, um, but then again, you did things. This is what you've done. You know, now, um, we were talking, yeah, exactly. Dave, if they don't have money in jail, they're always hungry. Now they, normal people can get people to put money on their books. These people for January 6th, Cuban on folks <laughs> add money, to their books. Now I know here, from what I understand, the limit, depending on the state, is anywhere between two to five hundred a day that you can, can be, put on can the be, books. Can, can be put on the books. So, so this, so this yes. woman. Oh, there's a weird echo. Uh, so this woman, um, she's fine. She's yes. She's gonna have. She she can get all kind of food from the commissary, but is yes, she is can she get maybe even protein bars in the commissary. Yes. But uh, yeah, but that jail, <laughs> jacked jail uh, uh, diet thing, um, unless you're buying food from the commissary, you're not going to have enough carbs or protein to get jacked in jail. You're, you're not going to get ripped because you're not going to have the money to, you know, the, the input. Yeah. Um, but uh, can that even keep you alive? I mean, is it an, even enough calories? 
doesn't sound um, like it. Well, I mean, I, I think it's like bread at a thousand calories a day. And so, yeah. You're not even supposed to diet at less than 1200. I mean, or, or it might, it might be up to 1200, I'm, but it's between a thousand and 1200 a day. You don't get a whole lot extra. So, cause you're not there to spa. You're not there to go, you know, well, but, I know, but, but starvation. Well, you're not, it's not, you're not going to spa. Just, I but, guess, I, I guess it, it, it's also going to be people will, you know, be more likely to work. Yes. Um, if you work in jail, work in the kitchens, work in laundry or whatnot, you earn money for the commissary if you don't have people adding money to your books. Um, the reason there are limits for putting money on books is there are people nationwide who have strangers add money to their books all the time, which you're going to find if they haven't found already um, with the QAnon folks. If you know the jail, if you know somebody's name and the jail that they're in, you can you can add money to their books. Anybody can. And so and what happens? Know. What happens to that money if they don't if they don't use it all in the commissary? From what I understand, depending on the state, um, because it's money that you uh, a lot of times it's money that you earn when you when you leave the jail, you leave with that money or at least a good portion of it that the, the, the jail gives you a check. It's just like for people who work in jail, um, sometimes when the, when they've served their sentence, what money they didn't spend that's their money. That's their seed money to start out with. And, you know, so that way they can go and try to find a place. It's the same, it's the same scenario, but they get to leave with a portion of that, if not all of it. Um, so you're saying this woman's going to, she's going to jail for mm -hmm. 60 days and she could end up making money. Yes. Yes. And uh, Teresa mentioned something about uh, how she's not going to be able to be a realtor. Um, she could still own a realty. She doesn't have to be the actual realtor, but she could still own and hire, she could still own a business and hire realtors and, and they pay her a chunk of, you know, what they sell based on her name because it's Texas. People are going to come to her business to buy, you know, they're going to want her. Yeah, it's Texas. But um, I will say, and the one thing I was surprised to learn, and I don't know if this is nationwide, but I do know that um, they have tablets now. A lot of the reason is because, um, and now that's if they've proven, you know, they've proven that they're trustworthy not to damage it. But um, you have a tablet because a lot of jails, you can't, because of COVID, um, visitations are held virtually. And so... Um, even when you're in your cell for those 22 hours, you have certain hours that you can do visitation from your cell with your tablet and that's recorded and somebody's monitoring it elsewhere, but yeah, but you can rent movies with your tablet. So she's got stuff she can be doing, but, um, yeah, no, I found out about the limits placed on stuff before my family member went to prison because, uh, during a, uh, a Twitter conversation, you know, there's some people that are put in jail for reasons that just they shouldn't be put in jail. Right. There was there was an African American African American man who is serving a life sentence because he came home from jail. I mean, come home from jail. He came home from work and found a white male assaulting his uh, preteen daughter and beat him to death. As a parent. I can't say that I wouldn't do the same, but it, it is in his own house. In his own, in house. His own house. He came Good home kid. and found somebody attacking. attacking his, his, his preteen daughter. And he, he beat him to death, but because he's a black man, I mean, let's just call it what it is because he's an African, because he's a black man and this guy was white and it was in a small town he he's serving a life sentence. So there are people who, you know, who keep him stocked, who send money to him for things like, you know, because you have from the comics there, you also have to buy, you know, your own shampoo. They give you a bar of soap, but um, you have to buy your own cup 
uh, they give you a cup, excuse me, you have to buy your own bowl um, if you want to do ramen or anything like that. So you have to buy things, you know, uh, feminine supplies, all that stuff. So um, if you, if you need, and if you don't have it, they'll give it to you as far as like medicine, you know, for headaches or whatever. But if you have money added to that, that, that you have a negative balance, basically. So my family member, when she didn't have anything, she had had a headache and she had asked for some Tylenol and they gave it to her. But then they also docked three dollars off of her commissary account. So, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, they do uh, the same regard, uh, regardless of race. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't I, I'm so not so not blaming him. I'm just. I'm just not. Oh, no, 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 no. But I'm saying he, he got he got the sentence that he got because of his race. Right. He got the no, 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 no. And I agree. And I think he he did. I don't I don't have any problem with that. Um, I don't begrudge him at all. I mean, as a parent. No, I can say that I wouldn't do it if I walked in and found somebody with my. Nope. Nope. No. No. So, um. But no, she's there. There's a chance that she's going to make some money off of this. And, and that's not counting interviews she's going to give. I mean, yeah. For what it's worth, I don't actually see her thriving. Well, that's um, good. Right in the middle, I've got a big old emperor. So all of this helps burnish the orange mm -hmm. menaces, the orange mm -hmm. fioras. Um, reputation but yeah. i don't know was her business doing really that well in the first place she had a private jet i have no idea all i know is she was uh, she did a lot of upscale dallas real estate uh commercial and residential that i know she made a legal decision and she was in, but this is all small. These are all small potato, other than the emperor, which isn't her. These are all small potato cards. Yeah. Um, I, you know, a very much, if anybody bothered, you know, where are the insurrectionists now? Maybe. Yeah. Um, See, the thing about it is, is that the majority of these people are narcissists because like attracts like. Yeah. And even if they make money, they're still going to be miserable because they're not going to be able to talk to people. They're exactly. not going to be able to other than each other. But, you know, even then, I don't know. I don't know how often they're able to talk to each other. I think that you've covered that before, though, that a lot of them are being kept together, sequestered there together. Is. So, uh, Gary, we're talking about... Um, well, we were talking about two different things. We were talking about um, the um, the, 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 the woman who from Texas, the real Jenna estate. Ryan. Woman, yeah, Jen Ryan, who is has to go to uh, jail in January, and she's all woe is her. But hey, at least I'll get a new waistline out of it because I'm going to do yoga in jail. So we were talking about her and conditions in general, and how there are other people that you know, are in jail that don't need to be and whatnot. So that's, yeah, we're talking about two different folks. So, and I'm sorry if it got confusing, but I was using the, the other gentleman as, uh, as an example of why there's a cap on how people, and, and plus, I mean, honestly, people like, I mean, I hate to say it, but back when Manson was in jail, people would send him, he, he hit his cap every day. That's why he had a will. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, V is saying, don't look at the skin color. You can't kill someone unless your life is in imminent danger and you can't possibly flee. I'm saying set out to kill that person. Not necessarily. No. no. But what are you going to do? You can't, you have to stop them. And no. if you can knock them out, if you can, and you don't know how big this person was and how, well, and, and, and it came out that the dude put up a struggle. Like, he came in and he broke it up. And he went to, you know, put a hurting on the guy. And the guy bowed back up at him. Like, they engaged. And then, at right. that point, he just raged out. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, 
And yes, uh, I agree. Um, oh, hello, Becca from House of Lenormand this year. Hello, Becca. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a pacifist too. I totally feel that. But uh, my kids are a whole different. Mm -mm. Yeah. And, kids, and it's, mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but there's uh, Brenda Williams saying she also said she didn't pay taxes. That could be a problem. Mm, As the, uh, one jail to another. Yes. Atha is saying no, uh, Jenna was invited by a friend to join a bunch of rich Republicans on a private jet. And um, someone else was mentioning uh, anyway. So someone is saying she could use her mattress as a yoga mat. Um, who, who just said that? That was funny. That was Doxy Mom. That was Doxy Mom. Well, either way, she's a piece of work. Yeah, yeah. And there is a, there is a, um, Nancy Blecka is saying there is a passion exemption, which, yeah. 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 So but I, yeah. Is some, yeah. But it just depends. Like I said, we're, we're inadvertently having two different conversations that are stacking, and I know it can be confusing for people, and I'm sorry. Well, I'm just trying um, to figure out what's going to happen to Jenna Ryan. Because yeah, I think she's emblematic of, of the rest of them. Um. Yes, I could talk all day about people who are wrongly incarcerated, and we're not going to do it. So. Congra congratulations, Jenna Ryan. Yes. This is going to be pretty much the biggest thing you do in life. Oh, bless. You, you went well, maybe from... Maybe you can get that waistline, if nothing else. That's true. That's what's important. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yay. You went from a page to a night. Yeah, no, Diana, she doesn't turn herself in to serve until January. So, no, she's not going to be there for Christmas. She gets to spend Christmas at home with her people. And also another thing that really gets me is they're talking about, you know, the anxiety and everything that everybody in these D.C. prisons and the D.C. prison systems are dealing with. But let's ignore the PTSD that the Capitol Police officers are dealing with and their anxiety. So I really, I, I have no... I mean, woe is you. You can't talk to people. You're a little upset. You're in a room 22, 23 hours a day. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Right. But you tried to you tried to uh, destroy our democracy. And you I mean, I, I always go back to to watching. I don't, I don't know what ever happened. Richard Engel did. He, he posted the first like seven minutes of a um, like a, a documentary or something about what happened on the day of January 6. And then I have not been able to find the rest of it anywhere. But what he was showing was when the this this moment when the protesters got to the Capitol grounds mm -hmm. and going the, the Capitol building is sitting on a hill. And there are six places where there's a path and then some a few steps and a path and a few steps, a path and a few steps and a path. I mean, it's just, it does this incrementally. Well, they got here and there was, there was just a, a really, you know, waist high barrier. Mm. And a few people jumped onto the grass and, and stood there and they were, it was just a few. And everybody else was like, don't do it, don't do it. And the people stood there and they st they didn't like run for it. They were just standing there like um, they were expecting to be shot. Yeah, yeah. And it didn't they, happen. They were the best subjects. And so as soon as they were safe, then everybody was like, oh, they're not going to do anything. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And one of the things we're talking about today is Mark Meadows. Yes. Because yes. it's come out that he... They're saying something about in his communication, something that the National Guard would protect the January 6th insurrectionists. Anyway, so <laughs> we're going to get there. Yes. Uh, Pamela wants to know, will she be able to buy her shakes? No, but she will be able to buy Top Ramen and generic Little Debbie's. Maybe a protein bar. They might do protein bars, uh, depending on the prison. I don't know, but it won't be anything that tastes good. It'll be chalky and funky and literally be a protein bar. So. So, so not, nothing like what she wants. Oh, no, no. There, there is no herbal life in jail. Mm -mm. Can they, um, can, can they be sent boxes of their favorite stuff? 
No. Nope. The only thing that you get is what you get in jail. Is what you can buy at the commissary. Hmm. I did not know that. And somebody had mentioned, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, diabetics. If you're diabetic, you can have a, a, a different diet. They'll give you different food. Wow. I agree, Joanne. Why do these people think overthrowing the government is some sort of board game? Mm, why indeed? Yep. Mm. No, excuse me. I got to talk and I got to tickle my throat. Okay. okay. I'm okay? good. I'm good. Like I said, I just, I got to talking and the air in here got dry. Okay. Well, after that, um, there was something else you saw in the news. So yes. you included it in the questions you mentioned. Yes, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of the questions, and then I'm going to do one more little commentary, and then I'm going to step back so Miss Autumn can do her thing and entertain all of us and give us the lowdown. So, okay. okay, you can get a vegan diet in California now. Really? All right, I wouldn't actually die then. Good. Oh, Shay, laughter. It's so sad. No matcha lattes. Oh, bless. Okay, I'm sorry. You were going to oh, say. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, so we're talking about Mark Meadows. Uh, we're talking about Max Miller. We were talking about him yesterday. We didn't quite get to it. Uh, Grandma Rose's Homestead's question about Chris Wallace yesterday. We're going to tackle that today. Betty Harper's question about Epstein's book. Uh, we're going to tackle that today. And Rick Gonzalez asked yesterday about, uh, excuse me. Obama and Rhonda Cox has some questions about the political makeup of Kentucky. Hippie Sue has a few good questions today that we're going to talk about. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about FEMA and uh, the storms that have come and how they're going to prevent things or they can't prevent things, but how they're going to tackle things going forward. Now, I'm going to skip number 11 and come back to it. Uh, the last thing that Autumn is going to talk about is, uh, bless it, Lynn Wood is with us again, but this time not in a fun way. So uh, he's got some election vigilantes that we're going to discuss, or Autumn's going to discuss. But 11. <laughs> okay. Now, um, as science catches up, with a technology and whatnot, they're learning what pet parents already know. Um, our pets, our, our dogs and cats, they're just, they're toddlers. They are. Um, especially now that technology has it where you can train the buttons and they can talk to you. I think those are the coolest thing. I was uh, telling Autumn earlier that there, I saw a TikTok not that long ago of a cat that uh, when the woman got home, the cat was like litter box, litter box treat. Litter box, litter box, treat. And then after she came home and she was like, okay, okay, I got you. And she's like, and I checked it. And sure enough, the litter box needed change. She said, and I sorted the litter box and I gave him his treats. And then he hit it and said, cuddle. And I was like, oh. oh. But um, uh, oh. Some the, uh, that is just the sweetest thing. But this morning I was changing purses. Because my mom gifted me a, a purse for Christmas early. And I was changing purses. and Because my old one was just worn out. Mom purse. And um, I had a stack of stuff. And I have a senior adult cat. I say senior adult. A senior cat. <laughs> senior adult. I have a senior cat, Pepper. And uh, old man Pepper, he's just, he's a mess. But he comes and he just like smog. He comes and sits on top of, of my stack of miscellaneous. And he's... <laughs> Board now, and I'm trying to get like pens and coins, and he's swiping at me. He's not like <laughs> he's not like attacking me. He's just like no human. This is mine now. This is mine. You, you've you. It's yeah. And then oh, slowly, you know, from smog, I've, I've had to like get his attention over here and snatch it from the other side, and slowly, you know, I've got it down to where it's like two coins and a rubber band, and. <laughs> And at that point, he looked down and realized that his, his treasure had been decimated. 
and he had no time for me anymore, so he just flicked the tail and <laughs> and walked off. But uh, yes, pets, our fur babies are literally our fur babies, and science is finally catching up with that now. So, yeah. although so. although I think in that study they were just talking about dogs because they still are under this very mistaken idea that well, dogs, you know, they yes. they're like this. It's like cats will do that too when they cats want will to. do that. Yeah, yeah, and again, and it's it's not as as uh, um, prevalent. It's a little more rare that you see people who were teaching cats to do the the button. Yeah, because yeah, it they started off with dogs, right. but um, they're perfectly capable, perfectly capable, but they have to want to. Yeah, and I think the trick is teaching them that it's it's to their own advantage. Now, if they think that we just want them to do it, they're not going to do it. Because it's just, you know, I mean, we're, you know. Right. They're waiting for us to realize that they own us, not the other way around. So. Uh, what about Bunny Dog? Yes. What about Bunny was the first one that started that. And didn't you say that, um, didn't we see, like, celebrities even getting in on that? Didn't we see a thing where, like, Chris Evans had his dog? I and think so. Was, yeah, he was teaching, what's his name, Dodger? Yeah, he was teaching Dodger, Dodger how to do so. Play and and whatnot and yeah, he so was, oh no, I remember that because he was saying that he, he 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 had expected the dog to want treat yeah, treat treats. treat, but yeah. he wanted play all the time, yeah. and he he really liked that. And I'm just thinking, well, yeah, I mean, I would think dogs would want to play more than treats, yeah, personally, yeah. But what do I know? All righty. Well, so I'm going to bow out. Oh, thank you. you for, thank you for thank you for stopping into the neighborhood. Oh, no problem. Happy won't to you be. Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> so Miss Sarah stopped by this morning. And you all have a wonderful day. And I'll be by soon. Yes. Yeah, and if you come by, uh, folks, if you come by uh, Book Art Media at four o'clock central time, uh, you will see the two of us again. Uh, yes. We do creative sprints. So just any yes. creative thing, we just want to encourage you. And it also gets yes. our ourselves into these seats, working on our own creative projects. And, you know, that's how the great American novel gets written. That's how the, Absolutely. the, the, the you know, the sweater gets knitted and the sewing project gets done and the painting gets made and the graphics, you know. So... You're always welcome. Uh, it's not monetized. We don't make any money from it. So it's we just, we just hang out and it's to encourage you. So just 25 minutes at a time. Uh, we just focus on our own projects and, and just encourage each other in the three minutes between. And even if, you're create, if your creative uh, project is just finding some quiet time to get away from everybody and reading a book, come chill, <laughs> with, us. Come chill with us. Yeah, you're always welcome. Oh, and I've, I've got to be, this is important, this this live stream. Yeah, it's very important. All Bye, right. everybody. I'll see you guys later. See you later. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, you're welcome, hon. Bye. Okay, bye. Hello. Now you're just stuck with me. I, I actually made two different overlays today. Look at that. All right, and I can take this out. So thank you, guys. Thank you for everything. And thank you for being so kind to Sarah. I really appreciate it. She is the sweetest, most lovely, lovely person. So, all right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. And this wrapped. And... All right. So, questions. All right. 34 minutes in. we got to look at this Mark Meadows thing. Oh my goodness gracious. What were you thinking? Um, oh, Sherry, Sarah's delightful. She is. She is. So um, let's see. Look at Mark Meadows. I need my phone again. I think there was some confusion. I have just, just based on what I was seeing in the chat. Because I saved, I saved some pictures. Do do do. Where are you? Oops. 
Um, oh, and before I forget, uh, tomorrow, um, I should be on at regular time. I might have to reschedule for tomorrow evening. I have a, um, I'm having a real problem. I have a filling that just is gone haywire and I don't know what's, something's really not good with this one tooth. So I have a dentist appointment tomorrow morning at 8.30. Um, it's my first time there. So it may just be, uh, they poke and prod and go, okay, come back later uh, and just clean. Or they might do some more, I don't know. So I'll have to see how I'm doing tomorrow at noon. But, but um, I, I, I don't wanna go a day without coming on. So I may reschedule for the evening. Um, we'll see. I like, I like things just staying regular. As Flaubert said, the ordinary bourgeois in your daily life so that you may be extraordinary in your art. And that is true. Just keep things very regular and dull so that you can pour your energy into creativity. Anyway, so that's tomorrow. I just saw a screen capture when I was trying to find the information, so. All right, Meadows, January 5th email indicates the guard on standby to protect pro-Trump people, investigators say. Basically in the January 6th committee, uh, coming forward and saying that uh, they, 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 they're holding Meadows in contempt or they want, uh, yeah, basically, that um, they released a, a certain amount of, a certain amount of information just in making that case. So this is what we learned. We learned a little bit about, that's, that's where we got information about the, uh, uh, the PowerPoint presentation. So thank you, Dave. Thank you. Yes, I have a, I have a, uh, I have a, literally a list of like 25 things, things that I kind of rules and guidelines I live by. And on that list somewhere, it actually is, I have it written down, actually is take care of your teeth and your feet. <laughs> take care of your health, especially your teeth and your feet. If your teeth and your feet, if one of those go bad, things get, everything kind of stops. So, all right. White House official allegedly said National Guard would put, protect Trump supporters on January 6th. Emails from former chief of staff. Mark Meadows, are among the files released to support the House's panel recommendation that be, he be held in contempt. He said, Mark Meadows said, National Guard troops would keep President Donald Trump supporters safe January 6th. Mark Meadows is in, to, in this up to his eyeballs. And anybody who's going to try to tell me that, oh, yeah, Meadows was involved in this. Trump didn't know anything about it. <clears throat> At that point, seriously, you, you, you. You, okay, I, I then I then understand if, you, if that's what you're trying to tell me, I, I then understand that you you really do think I'm stupid, so that all of us are. So, Ugh. oh, oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, guys, please don't talk about root canals. I've never had one. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Maybe it will. I hope not, but yeah, I'm prepared to spend time there. So we'll see. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. So let's, let's not talk about worst case scenarios. I said, I mentioned this to somebody yesterday and they were like, oh yeah, they'll just pull your tooth and be done. I'm like, excuse me, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, if it's really necessary, but why would you go right there? <laughs> anyway. All right, Mark Meadows. Ooh. Yes, Diana Cachet. Mark Meadows was doing the master's bidding and everyone knows it. I agree. It didn't hurt. Okay, good. Good. Happy. 
happy thoughts, happy energy. Please, please, happy, happy energy, happy thoughts, prayers. Most grateful. Anyway, Mark Meadows. Okay. All right. Oh, Mark Meadows. Oh. You're in up your eyeballs, dude. Why? Why did he even try to cooperate? Why did he turn anything over? This isn't what he turned over. If this is what he was doing, why did he even turn it over? I don't get that. And then come out with a book and then say you're not going to cooperate. And then say you are going to cooperate and then say you're not again. I don't get that. I like that she laughed her. Happy thoughts. Anyways, Mark Meadows. <laughs> yeah. Harold McGuire, it's going to be fine. Thank you, Harold. Thank you. It will. It will be fine. Apparently, my, my whole family goes to this dentist, and he's great. Apparently, he's a great dentist. Very fairly priced. Very good at what he does. My, my, fam, my, my parents and my sisters, they, they rave about him. So, okay. Thank you, hippies. Yeah, okay, Meadows, seriously, dude, what? Why did you turn over all that stuff? You were up to your eyeballs in an insurrection against the United States of America. Six of Wands, Page of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Judgment, Two of, dude, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like, really? There's going to be judgment because of your communications. What were you, what did you, what do you think? Oh, they were, they'd overturn the election so it wouldn't matter. And then when they didn't, well, the Democrats will just keep stalling them. Well, then you couldn't. So you turned over your communication, you're getting judgment. You're being judged for your communication. Duh. duh. I think. Yeah, Mark Meadows just baffles me. I wonder if we're covering him Thursday. Thursday evening, I'm going to be over on Red Lentil Healing again with the group. We're getting back together from the same as last Saturday. And uh, I, I do I do the astrology part on the what what these people are like, you know, what to help us know what to expect from them. I, I can't remember if we covered Meadows last time. I'm pretty sure he was on the list, but we didn't get to everybody. Meadows, Meadows, Meadows. <laughs> so what's going to happen to you? Okay, I just got I. This is not just my not just me, like what I think of him. I just, it's like, I just heard the word traitor. But that's going to be your place in history. Congratulations. Congratulations. You got your footnote in history as a traitor to your country. Was it worth it? Really? I can't, I, I don't even have enough words to explain how ashamed I would be to be considered a traitor to this country. I, I, I can't. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't. My, my, my grandmother would, would roll over him in her grave. I would, I would, I would die from shame. Six of swords. Okay, he's worried. He's worried and and now he's it's almost like would I have to like go to the Washington DC jail with 
the little people? Certainly not. Doxy Mom, I like that. Sorry, no sympathy for Meadow Muffin. We might have to keep using that. That's pretty awesome. Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. It hasn't it hasn't really twigged yet for them. It's not it's not even really in in the energy yet that the higher ups are going to be held accountable. It's almost like there's there are people who are, have, are being held accountable who, to some extent, not as much as they should, but in my opinion, thank you, Faye. Thank you, Faye. Um, but it, I'm, I get a lot of this from anybody who's a, a, in Congress, was in Congress, it was in the White House, you know, all of this stuff. The energy I get is this total denial all the way across where, and it's, it's a surprisingly coherent thought form. It's like, it's like the, it's almost like these are the different, you can picture it kind of like if every person, they're an energetic pole and it, it forms a fence. It's like, we're, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe. We, we don't get held accountable. We don't get held. No, we don't. We, and so it's like they're all just. There's this, this level of denial that's creating this energetic barrier. Um, we don't we don't get sent with the little people. It's like, yeah. Blagojevich, is that the, the Illinois guy? who tried to sell Barack Obama's seat when Obama became president and went to DC. And Blagojevich went to prison for many years. So, look, I understand, I'm trying to read the energy and the thing is like, okay, look, I understand you think nothing bad can happen to you that you are above being held accountable, but are you really? Because it doesn't feel like it. It, it and, and I'm trying to even like get, it's like, can I get around their energy to like DOJ energy or somewhere between them and the DOJ? Or I'm trying to figure out where I can go to get the answer energetically. Strat. Trump would sell Lincoln's bed with Lincoln still in it if he could. <laughs> You're not wrong. Seven of Cups. Serious delusion. This isn't politics. They, these people, they, they really have not twigged that this is not, you cannot spin this. And there are people being held accountable, somewhat at least. They see the Democrats as weak, small and weak, and um, this is big judgment. This card feels bigger than this one. The judgment card feels much bigger. And then this temperance isn't a temperance of the judgment. It's more of a temperance of their hubris they just they they really it's a serious delusion democrats are they're small they're weak they don't fight they don't do anything 
we aren't going to be held accountable. We'll just stop the Biden Biden being accepted. We'll we'll have the insurrection. It's like no major arcana. Say one more time. Or just these higher ups. Trump, Meadows, um, people in Congress, sitting members of Congress. Um, are they going to pay? Either through heavy civil fines or I mean, heavy civil fines or jail time? Are they going to pay for this insurrection? It's important. A coup that fails, but is not, where there's no justice sought, is nothing but a dry run, dress rehearsal. Hangman. Ace of Cups, two of Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Three of Wands, Page of Cups. This is people going to prison. This is big. This is big Democratic power. This is Republican power getting really, it's not going to protect you if, you've, if you were a part of this. This is people going to prison. This is them being in prison, looking out. How did I get here? How could this have happened? Yeah, it was those wussy Democrats who believe in the country. I, I understand the, the, that there's a, a basic idea that the United States was founded on freedom, um, that it, it was founded on this idea um, but it isn't anarchy. It wasn't founded on anarchy. It wasn't founded on. Um, it, it was. It was. It. it they're, they're, they're pieces, and it's. It's like a. All the pieces are like leaning against each other. State power, federal power, judiciary. Different break it down to different levels of government, different branches of government, state governments. It, it break it down in state governments, where everything's all intertwined, so that nothing can take over. But so that we that we do not live in tyranny, and that's important. But you don't just go and say, oh. Well, we're going to decide what's going to be this, and we're going to decide what's going to be that, and we, we, the small group, we are going to decide what's this, this, and this. No, that's what we fought a revolution against. You don't just get to decide. It's called democracy, and you lost. And now they're just trying to play games. So the affluenzas in Washington, D.C., the affluenzians, um, they're, they're, they're going to learn. I'm, I'm seeing some, some accountability, but it's going to be such a shock to them. Such a shock. And right now, the energy is just a wall of nothing bad can happen to me. I just duck and dodge and do what Trump said, you know, what Trump does, and it'll work for me too. You know, Trump, Trump's about to have his own problems. All right, so at 54.30, one of the subpoenaed rally organizers, Max Miller. So Max Miller was one of the rally organizers and he has been subpoenaed because he met with Trump on January 4th. 
Well, Max Miller is now running for Congress in Ohio. Really? So, Max Miller, how's that going to go? person in Ohio. Really? That was Trump on January 4th. Oh, well. Third eye in a cesspool today. Boy. Man. King of Pentacles. Hmm. Republican, Republican ideals, far right ideals, five of rally. He was a rally organizer, right? Rally organizer, rally, working, five of pentacles. Oh, the rally didn't work. Ten of cups. Nine of Pentacles. I don't know that he's going to win in Ohio, but this sitting pretty card. Really, Max Miller? He's he's gonna end up sitting pretty. Is that what that means? Really? We're one of the rally organizers. We met with Donald Trump on January fourth. He's been subpoenaed by the January 6th committee. And a subpoena doesn't mean he's guilty. But I know you're running for Ohio. So what's what's, what's going to happen to you, really? And, if, and yeah, I mean, if it ends up, he's just fine. Better than ever. I get cards like that for people I don't like. I, I, don't, I don't get... <laughs> it's not like, oh, I get that. Bad things will happen to people I don't like. And good things will happen to people I do like. I wish work that way. That's quite the burden. That's carrying a whole lot of information into the, the committee. He doesn't want to give he doesn't want to give that information up. He does and he's got a lot of information, but he doesn't want to bring it in. It it feels like this person carrying all this information, the piles and piles of papers or the equivalent. It's like they he should be carrying it in, but he it, it's almost like he's carrying it and then he just kind of wanders over here because he, he doesn't want to go to that door. Um, oh, yeah, I'm headed in that direction. Um, um, you know, was it, um, you know, my grandmother taught me, what was it, that old thing about, <clears throat> excuse me, don't don't put anything in a letter that you would not want shown in public. Say, plan an insurrection? Thank you, Shay Laughter. Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Eight of Swords. Hanged man. All right, so he's not sitting pretty. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, tell the dealer I'll take two cards. Um, this was the this, this that's Trump. That's Trump's base of power. That's Mar-a-Lago, or in this case, the White House. The bludgeon. The far right action taken, the far right communication, being hemmed in, matter of fact, being hung up by your heels. So why was I getting a nine of, nine of pentacles? I think before, but that was more about the Ohio thing. Oh, well, lovers, messenger, far right messenger. Yeah, okay. That 10 of cups, 
nine of pentacles that that, that was about what's actually going to happen in ohio everything about what's going to happen specifically to this guy is ugly you're part of the cult you are a messenger you're 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 in big trouble i, I don't understand why i i am sincerely hoping since i believe in justice i don't believe in violence I don't, I don't want any of these people getting sick. I don't want any of them dying. I don't, nothing like that. I just want courtroom evidence if found guilty by a reasonable jury paying for their crimes. That, that, that's what I want. And If that's the case, I would really like to see more of these people, um, especially the high ups, charged with manslaughter. People died. People were hurt very, very badly. Manslaughter, attempted manslaughter, my opinion. Anyway. All right. 10130. Grandma Rose's homestead had a question. 101.30. Why is Chris Wallace not renewing his contract with Fox and going to CNN Plus streaming? Is it CNN Plus? It's the CNN streaming thing is where he's going. So after all these years, and apparently the when Fox Shepard left Fox News, Fox News put out a statement and it was all glowing about he's the one of the greatest journalists, blah, blah, blah. Chris Wallace left and it was uh, chilly. <laughs> yes, he's leaving. <laughs> it's like, okay. Poof, Chris Wallace. This feels like three cards. He's going to be fine. Why'd you leave? You were there for 18 years. 18 years. Strength. He's fine. Six of wands, two of wands. It's all the pressure for what he wasn't allowed to say. And you'd think it would have started lessening by now, but apparently it was getting stronger. What he wasn't allowed to say, what he wasn't allowed to cover. I don't get the sense that he's 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 not the he's not the worst of the worst. He's not Tucker Carlson. He's not Hannity. Uh, he's not O'Reilly. Um, it feels like he was maybe trying to thread a needle. misguided attempts but and he's not he's he is no Rachel Maddow <laughs> who is a national treasure uh, right far right wing communication he wants to cover the um, he wants to cover the insurrection stuff he wants to cover uh the insurrection, the, the all the court cases and what's going to happen. He does not want to be hemmed in. He wants to cover this, and he can't do it at Fox. Well, happy trails. Doxy Mom says, was he told not to argue with Tuckums? Aw, poor little Tuck Tuck. Um... I, I don't know, but he wasn't, I, I don't know about that, but he just, he, there was thing, there were things he really wasn't going to be able to cover. So. Rania says he was the only one who questioned Trump on what he would do if Biden won, no other Fox or would dare to. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Holly and Francis, sometimes when we get older, we think about our legacy. Oh, absolutely. 
Oh, excuse me. I think I have to sneeze. One second. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Georgia uh, Wallace is joining the CNN streaming channel. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, 105.30. Betty Harper had a question. Oh. <laughs> 105.30. Oh, it's about to get, the energy's about to get chilly in here. Bundle up. You know, there's, there's talk about Epstein's little black book and how there was a version of Epstein's little black book, which is basically... A little black book, for those of you who are too young to understand, uh, refers to, it's actually an, an address book. Because back before we had phones and all of this stuff, we would write, we'd have literally a little book where people would write down addresses of phone and phone numbers of family members. And and yes, way back in the day, it would say things like Pennsylvania 65,000. It was, it, they were like, back even back to when, you know, phone numbers were like that and then all the way up um and so your address book i mean there was always my mother's bless my mother i love that woman so much i cannot even tell you but growing up her address book was well used it was it was hardcover it was like a, a ring. A, it was like a little ring binder, hardcover, very hardcover. And you open it up, and there were stuff. <laughs> there were papers. Just there was so much stuff uh, in there. Uh, I wonder what happened to that. But that's that was we had these address books. Well, the the ones the the smaller ones, especially business people would carry or what have you. They tend to be black and, and just small, and then men who would uh, get around, they'd have maybe a separate address book, a little black book where they would keep their girlfriends, different women they were with, their information. That's where little black book comes from. Um, I believe a, 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 a little black book of Epstein's from the 90s was released at some point. So his address book. And then there may have been one more recent. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I've forgotten a lot of the details uh, because my brain does not want to stay there. But I think the question here because uh, Betty Harper's question was, was Epstein's little black book list come to the light of day or remain a secret forever? Well, his, his actual address books have come out. I think the question really is, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Betty, but I want to know, will Epstein's really black book come to light or remain a secret forever? And I'm calling it the really black book because that would be not necessarily a real thing, but it would be the the list, you know, you know, what was on all those hard drives and, and whatnot that the FBI got when they raided Epstein's home. I mean, this is this is what we want to know. I don't care how powerful people are, we want those slime bags. They, they deserve nothing. If they've, if they've messed around with children, they deserve nothing. No protection. They deserve justice. 100% justice. And that's it. In a courtroom, held until trial, justice. But is Epstein's, we'll call it the really black book, is it ever is is that information going to come to light? Oh, thank you, Justin's mom. Do you have a channel? I can I can exp anybody who really wants to know. I can explain how to do this. It's it's not that hard. It's just time consuming and on and on. So 
Betty Harper, we understand each other perfectly. Awesome. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Uh, on the defensive. Oh, this even feels like some of the men involved, like uh, like one man getting in trouble and then other men helping to attack him, even though they were actually involved too. Then again, there is all of the stuff about Ken Starr protected Epstein. Um, I mean, we, we know now that the whole time that Ken Starr was going after Bill Clinton for having an affair, Ken Starr was having an affair at the same time. But, uh, oh, it's the worst thing ever. But Ken Starr protected Epstein. Dershowitz protected Epstein. Um, oh, my gosh. Uh, apparently, Chris Cuomo's wife. I know her, her information turned up in one of his address books. It just... Anyway. That would be, oh, my head's going to explode. Okay, I'm just going to say women on offer. And I'm not looking at that anymore. That's just, no, I'm not going there. <sighs> Makes me crazy. Oh, disappointment. Eight of one, seven of cups. This doesn't, this, this isn't, this is disgusting too. This is, oh, Epstein's been arrested or Epstein. So I guess I'll have to find another source. You are the scum of the earth. Okay. This doesn't feel like a lot coming to, well, it, 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 it feels like a bunch of the Johns, for lack of a better term, um, pedos, pedophiles, Johns, whatever, uh, throwing up a bunch of excuses and whatnot. I don't know, though. It could just be them keeping themselves hidden in the fiction. That's what they've managed to do so far. Let's see. Is that going to continue on or will there be an actual, will there be revelations? Electra Storm, Epstein being arrested won't stop this gross behavior. They'll just go somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that, um, That's what that center card is. Brenda Williams is saying, Auden, you may need to do some ET. What is that? All right. So are we going to find out who these heinous people were? Oh, I got two cards from the ending there. Yes, Ashley, gross, disgusting, blank, blanks. Exactly. Linda Kingsley say, I'll be, I'll, I'll be lucky. You don't know this energy. It is so lack of light. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yikes. When the sun card is bad, it's really bad. There's like no happy medium with the sun card. It is the sun or it is Ace of Pentacles. Boy, this page of cups is really underestimated because this page of cups keeps cropping up. And then it's like people don't, it's like the, the people on the right or the people, whatever. It's like they're just saying, oh, we'll get away with it. Oh, we've always gotten away with it. They're weak. They're small. And then, oh, but let's see. Let's put up this time. I got two cards for the end. This feels like a record of what they did. I'm saying before, what's on offer? 
and who actually did decline and who didn't. The energy feels like eventual, it, it's like it gets to a point and then suddenly it feels like you can breathe. It, it's like it, it, the, the energy of it clears. So I think we will know eventually. Brenda Williams says, oh, sorry, some extra saging. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Oh, six of Cups. Three of... Three of Swords. And that's the, that's the list. Certainly some lower level names will come out, but I, I think there might be some others as well this is this is gonna this is going to continue i'm not getting that oh it's the maxwell trial and when that's over that'll be the end of it it feels like there's because of what they found at epstein's place or i i don't think that's just the end of it max date you know maxwell's trial maybe one or two of the victims and then that's that's going to be it people get away with this no because there are people who were involved who who are not going to let it some of the victims are still they're just broken um but some of them they found their strength and yeah, bless all of them that they found their strength and they're not going to let up and good for them. God bless them. Betty Harper says we'll take all we can get. That's true. That's true. Oh, man. Debbie Lamb saying there was a BBC video on uh, Ghoul Lane last night trying to make her out to be hard done by blah blah disgusting she chose trash and slimy yuck true linda kingsley saying and these males believe they had a right to do this because of their power and that it's okay but the streets are less than them wrong it is the same only worse because of the denial okay All right, so suddenly very sun's reflecting in. Uh, let me try this. There we go. All right, now I'm not whited out, and I'll still be able to see the cards. I'll just turn this on. There we go. Let's go with this. So, one, when Days I have Sarah on, I'm so grateful she comes on, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do 12 questions on days when Sarah's on. It just takes uh, time, but I'll see what I can do here. 119. Rick Gonzalez had a question from yesterday. So, I definitely want to at least get through yesterday's questions. And take these questions and start tomorrow with them. But there'll be more space. There'll be space for new questions tomorrow too. Rick Gonzalez was asking, "Will Obama become a Supreme Court justice in the future?" I've read on this before, but eh, have a look. Justice Barack Obama. Five of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Lovers. Page of Wands. It would be very popular. 
they do a good job. It's just, it's, no. And I, I, I'm, I've never picked up that he will, but it's always worth looking at, I guess. Thank you for the question, uh, Rick. Thank you. Okay, so 120, Rhonda had a question. One twenty or just after one twenty thirty. So Rhonda had a question. She was first up this morning. A blue or purple or blue Kentucky will a Democrat or a Republican replace Mitch McConnell or Rand Paul when the time comes? So three cards for Mitchie, three cards for Rand Paul. Thank you, DDN. Thank you. Michael Grant saying, if I had presidential a presidential pension, I would not waste my time as a SCOTUS justice. Yeah. Oh, they're talking about they're talking about cute chickens in the in the uh, chat. All right. Mitchie. Three for Mitchie. When you're going uh, from this from the Senate. It can be replaced by a Republican or a Democrat. Who's going to replace Mitch in his seat? And Rand Paul, who's going to replace you in your seat? And I don't think any of us are expecting these cards to be, yes, cups, Democrats, but we'll see. That's Biden. That's, that's Biden. Mitch. There are going to be some people who are not going to be sorry to see you go. I feel that's a Republican. Um, but when he leaves, I mean, the person who replaces him isn't going to have the same kind of power he did. But this is a fighter for Republican stuff. Rand Paul is going to replace you after Rand Paul. Somebody who's going to have some legal problems. Big legal problems. Far right extremists who has or will go to jail? Justice card? Keep an eye on whoever wins uh, Rand Paul's seat whenever that happens. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Aw, oh, thank you, Debbie Lamb, suggesting a cute thing. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. One twenty three thirty. Hippie Sue had some good questions. One twenty three thirty. Little Donnie be held responsible for knowingly putting people at risk and making them sick with COVID. I doubt it. That's Trump a man. I doubt it. Let's have a look. Petty Harper says, Rand Paul doesn't exactly bring out the best in people. Yeah. I was, I, when I picked up the cards, I was thinking, is it going to be somebody whose neighbors don't want to punch him or her? Ashley said, I'll just pretend the cards meant justice dem. We wish. Sure. We'll do that. Oh, boy. Um Will Trump be held responsible? He's so gross. He was sick. He knew he was sick. They knew he was sick. He put his attache shape. He was going out to the, the helicopter. He put his attache bag down 
and said, I'm too, too weak, or not I'm too weak, but I, I can't carry this. It was too, too heavy. And some people there looked at each other like, who's actually going to touch that, knowing he's sick. And Mark Meadows picked up the bag and walked, and, and Trump was like, I was impressed. You're sick, and you dump your bag, and you see which one of your flunkies is going to touch your disgusting. Yes, Lab Rat, I did hear about Jen Lynn lost Artie, I'm afraid. She was kind enough to, to text message me about it. Poor Artie. I just didn't want to talk about it on here because I, if, in case she was watching sometime, I didn't want to, to uh, bring that up. But I'm, I've absolutely been praying for her and for Artie. And uh, Jen Lynn, Jen Lynn Tutero, she's, she's so talented and she's so sweet. The, the readers, the reading, the community of readers, you know, on YouTube, the ones that I, who I know, um, I, I don't know if I've ever met, ever been around such a big group of good people. And I think it's because we all understand that we're connected and we're all understand, you know, not one of us, not one of us is trying to screw the other one over or cause drama and no. Mm -mm. So anyway, but Jen Lynn especially is just extraordinary. Oh, yuck. He touched everything. Hierophants, judgments. Um, actually, I, I think I think there's going to be some point. This feels more like families going after him for his COVID response, not necessarily just for individual transmission. Going after the government, going after trying to get judgment, going aggressively. By the way, has anyone heard how um, how Swalwell's case is going against Trump and the insurrectionists? I haven't heard anything for a while. Dr. Storm says not, says not all readers are for the good, though, but the ones you mentioned are for sure the good ones. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I know that. But I just, I'm so much, I'm so much happier being friends with these people than, you know, I've been in a long time. And it's, it's lovely to talk to people who just have good ethics and who are very sweet, who understand vibrational energy and who, who, you know, they, they, they want me to be happy. It's nice. I've occasionally, like on my birth after my my the birthday stream and what have you, I was asking, you know, would you guys mind just checking, you know, what's my coming year going to be like? And you know, every once in a while, some of the other readers will, will read for me, and um, most of the time, I pay for them. I, I pay for it, but every once in a while, I'll ask, you know, we, I guess we, some of us ask each other just every once in a while for just a few cards here or there, if we're working together. But um, it just, it's like. Suddenly, they they start talking like you know they're my big sister or big brother, and um, it's okay. This is going to happen, but don't do this, and then do this, and make sure you're okay with this, and make and and you know, and don't waste your money on that, and do that, and, and oh no, no, that guy, he's just all ego. Just don't mess with him. <laughs> so. Hippie Gypsy says most of us see each other on the same channels. That's true. Yeah. Back to um, Trump and what have you. Yes, Gene A. Chris Christie does have a case, but he doesn't have uh, Janice. I call him Janice. The two-faced 
Yeah, you get you get one side of of Christy, which is charm. It could charm, you know, charm any anyone and anything. And then whoosh, you get the other face of Christy, and it's the most vile, awful, selfish, cruel. And then whoosh, it just it just it just switches. He's I. He's, he's not, a, I don't think he's a, no, I think I looked it up. He's not a Gemini. I don't know. It's, but uh, and usually that's a, a particular talent of Geminis who go bad uh, because every sign has a good and a bad sign. Full disclosure, I'm a sun Scorpio. When Scorpios go bad, whoo, man. But, uh, I don't know what it is. Electra Storm says Christie's not charming at all. Oh, I think he has his moments. I think he does. But then you remember all the other stuff he's done, and it's like, oh, I'm looking at this face. And then, whew. And suddenly he's a Trump supporter, and he's going out on the closed beaches, so, so they're now like his personal beaches. And then he's supporting this, and it's this cruelty, and this stupidity, and this, and then, whew, lovely. It's, dude, okay. I say that a lot. All right, 13130. ABC is wondering, is Mark Short working with the January 6th committee willingly or by request of Pence or subpoena? Isn't that Pence's chief of staff? Correct me if I am wrong. 13130. Mark Short. Is he working willingly or at the request of Pence or by subpoena? Um, oh, Ted Cruz is never charming. <laughs> no, no, not even a little. Mm -mm. Oh, nay, nay. Bridgegate, exactly. Exactly. Sorry, I was trying to mute that. Mark Short. Do, 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 do. Mark Short, Mark Short. Thank you, Shay Left. Mark Short. Why are you cooperating with the January 6th committee? It's a pain. It's a pain. He's organizing so much information. He's sorting through so much stuff. But he's just he's just he's just doing it. Like day at the office. Just doing the you know, just okay, this is here. All right, that has to be organized. They want this. All right, there's that. Then there's that. And it's just it just feels very matter of just just, just like this, just very matter of fact. Strength. He does not feel like a Trumper. I'm not saying he isn't, but the energy I'm getting is, oh, I have had enough. I have had enough. It's the energy I get. I don't know what he's saying publicly. And I could be wrong. Nobody who does this, it gets it 100% right. But we do our best. Entertainment only, YouTube. Knight of Swords. Okay, that's the, that's they want information. The the committee, the lawmakers, they want information, and they're aggressive about it. Three of Cups. They are getting information. They're getting a lot of information. Knight of Pentacles. Some people are fighting back, but there's a World card. Queen of Swords. There's there's just a very straightforward. January 6th committee, they want information. They're getting information. They're going to get, they're, they're putting, they're going to put it all together. There, there are not going to be gaps in their knowledge. 
and then they're going to recommend uh, possible legal stuff, other investigations. I'm not quite sure how, how that will play out. There's some people are trying to block it, like Meadows. This feels like Meadows, but um, Mark Short. I nope, just doing the thing, and and it does, it does feel like he's just he's fed up. Is that true? I don't know anything about him. Uh, dun dun dun. I'm just going to look at the chat. Debbie Lamb says, I don't know how you do this 365 days a year. My stomach and head hurt so bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. How do I do this every day of the year? Um, it's a dream job. Uh, I'm lucky. You, you, I get to spend time with you guys. Um, I really want to make this work. Um, I comfort people. Um, it can be fun. Are there some days I feel sick? Yes. But, eh. Um, Judy Barth says, what about Sagittarius? Many in the, many in resurrection members I hear. Resurrection members. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm lost. Tisrat says, this Sagittarius keeps tapping the sword in my hand. Tisrat says, I'm losing patience. I'm afraid I am a little confused what's going on in the chat. So I'm just going to, the archer. If you, are, you, are you asking what, what are Sagittarians like when they go bad? I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to see if I can squeeze in. It's already 140. Let me, 149. Let me see if I can squeeze in something. Um, actually, these are pretty. Oh, okay. Here's that qu question. All right. We're going to end on a nice question. We're going to, we're going to revisit what Sarah was talking about earlier. And then I'll keep these other questions for tomorrow. And there will be plenty of space for new questions tomorrow. Trust me. Okay, so for anybody who came in late, Sarah was here at the beginning. It's awesome. And one of the things she was talking about was uh, scientists. There's a there's a link in the description box. Starting at 137.30. There's a link in the description box to an article where scientists um, basically as science catches up with what pet parents already know, the ability to give pets a voice, like with those buttons, they can hit different buttons, has helped scientists confirm that your dogs and cats are actually cognitively uh, like toddlers. Will acknowledging fur babies become more accepted and commonplace? I hope so. Less cruelty to animals would be awesome. Let's do that. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. More paper, please. I hope Sarah becomes a regular. Less questions is okay. Oh, well, I, I hope she comes back on, on quite often too, because um, when she has time to go over questions with me and then uh, come on, it, she's, it's always because she's knowledgeable and funny and great. So, um. Judy Barth, yes. Oh, so Sagittarius? Shay Lachter saying Sag gives the silent treatment. Um, thank you, Justin's mom. Uh, Sagittarius uh, is will flake. They'll flake on you. Uh, because the whole thing about Sagittarius is they what's over the horizon? What's over there? Um, they're, 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 they're the, you know, the travel, the travel bug people, the wanderlust people um and the other thing can be if if it depends on kind of how they go bad because they they can also be hedonists um so 
yeah um it's usually if they go bad they it's like bacchus and bacchus doesn't not only does bacchus like a, a party and like and it, well the, the party thing it's not like drugs and drink that type of party that's more that's more a neptune thing but um Let's go meet other people. Let's go hang around other people. Let me go over here. Let me go over there. I'm going to be out of town. I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be over there. I'm going to be. That's that's Sagittarius. So. Shay Lefter says, yes, ma'am. Good friend of 22 years is a Sag. Exit stage left. Jeannie Lass is very true. Sag follows the arrow. I like that. Yep. Okay, so back to the question at 141. Let me change this. Okay. Uh, so we're asking about will scientists, as they're confirming that, that the cognitive abilities of our pets, like dogs and cats, is much like toddlers. Uh, will acknowledging fur babies become more accepted and commonplace? Uh, Holly Booth says, if my chickens could talk, they'd be asking for treats most of the time. I get yelled at for going out empty handed. And Maria says, my fur babies communicate with me. I hear the in intonation in their barks and they're, they're restless when they want something from me. If their water bowl is empty, my big boy will knock it around. Yep, I believe that. Oh, these two knuckleheads. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They know how to play me. Bailey Boo Boo, who's again sleeping. This is prime kitty nap time of the day. Boo Boo's right under this blanket. Um, on the great chair of happiness that has a nice Christmas throw on it. If he wants water, he learned from his brother that he makes noise, which is annoying. But if he wants treats, go stand by the bowl and sit. And he's, and, and Boo Boo has an extra, it's like he's got an extra long tail and it just, his tail wraps all the way around his feet. And he just sits there and just looks very cute. And he knows if he just sits there long enough, I will pass by. If I'm up and moving, he just goes there, wraps his tail way around his feet. They know how to use it. Yeah, absolutely. So will scientists, will, will in general, be good if we start, more people are acknowledging their intelligence and that they have feelings. We, there would be less cruelty to animals and dear great Gussie, I want that to happen. King of Cups, people being more sensitive. Thank you. That's what we want. Michael Grant said parrots are like three-year-olds. Oh, yeah. You leave a parrot alone all day, you come home, they're going to screech at you. They need uh, mental stimulation. All right. And, and, and to get rid of that mental image, uh, there was a parrot I saw had this great big outdoor enclosure. And someone in, and the, the owner had set up, they'd taken a bike, to, a, a bike wheel and taken off the, the rubber bit, or maybe it was still on there. I can't remember, but attached that to the side, to the, like the wall, like about this high and the out a bit. So the, the, uh, the, the birds, the big bird would, could come over, jump on it and just hold, like take their claws, hold on. And, and they'd swing upside down, <laughs> holding on. And they'd go upside down and come back up. And then th they'd balance and stop. And they were having so much fun. <clears throat> and then... Whoop. It's like a, like a roller coaster or something. Having so much fun. All right. Seven of Pentacles. Thank you, man. Um, 
yes, they are. These are not the cards I would have expected, but the, the, the energy I'm getting is of, it, we're, we're um, brain mapping and, and being able to see things, what's going on in the brain. And um, as medicine, medical technology improves, we'll be able to, to see very clearly just how intelligent certain animals are, that they do feel pain, things that will be acknowledged over time. Um, it will just be a known thing, just like, yeah. And so there, there will be people who fight for, um, to stop the cruelty and, and And, and they will be, more and more pets will be recognized as like part of your family. So that's what I'm getting. I think, I think it's, it's definitely moving in that direction. So, um, all right, so. It's two o'clock. It is 1.59 here in Chicago. That's gonna do it for me for today. Uh, at uh, four o'clock, in two hours, I'll be over on the Book Art Media channel. I'm there every day. Uh, four o'clock and just do creative sprints. Just bring whatever creative project you've got, whatever you're interested in working on, just hang out. Um, it's not, there, there's I'm not making money from this or anything like that. Just wanna encourage you to, to get some cre creativity in your life and carve out some creativity time. It's, it's good for your health. It's good for your mental health, your spiritual health, your, your physical health, you name it. So uh, we do that. And then uh, Thursday night, of course, the regular noon things this week. I'm always here at noon Chicago time every day of the year. Thursday night, I'll be on Red Lentil Healing. Um, that's going to be exciting. Uh, Friday, uh, I, I may be on Tara's Apprentice if there's space for me. Uh, sometimes he he's he's just wanting to to give people opportunities for those to be in those discussions. People who haven't had a chance to be on yet, so we'll see. Hopefully, I'll be able to be on that Friday evening, and then Saturday evening from eight to ten is our monthly uh, patron uh, tarot social. We usually end up talking about spirituality and um, historical figures and things like that. So it's a small group. It's usually about, only about a dozen people. So. We have a good time. All right, tomorrow, um, I may reschedule into the evening. We'll have to see. I do not want to miss a day. But uh, I have a tooth. I have a filling in a tooth that's gone bad. So tomorrow morning, um, I have an appointment at 8.30 to go to the dentist and uh, see what happens. Wish me luck. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day. You're not alone. Uh, you are always loved. You are always loved. Never forget that. There are good days ahead. All right. And I will see you very soon tomorrow. Take care.